Market started off the day bullish due to Apple's report, however, have come down into negative territory. Welcome all you traders out there in trader land. My name's Des here. It's Wednesday, July 20th, 2011. Apple, we had a big gap up and then a sell-off. We had a high here of $396.27. And I'm reading a note here. It says Apple stock climbed 3.3% today. And bringing the makers of the iPhone and iPad within shouting distance of the Exxon Mobil's market value of more than $400 billion. Even though the oil and gas producer is raking in more than four times Apple's annual revenue. Isn't that interesting? Apple is a superstar. Analysts are saying that Apple should get up around $445, so that's going up about eh, right there. So let's see if it can make it up there. It might, it might not, but we're here to look at the broad market. Check this out. Dow down 0.12%, about break even here on the S&P. NASDAQ, although strong to begin, has ended pretty weak here, down 0.43%. Russell's down 0.27%. Banks did stay strong. Goldman Sachs had a fantastic run today. Gold and silver up, US dollar down a half a percent. The market still dropped, even with the dollar dropping. Interesting. Crude oil up a smidgen. But uh, Goldman Sachs, let's go there briefly. I saw yesterday Goldman Sachs make this move right here on this candlestick and I entered on this. I also entered today right at the very end of the day. So it brought my cost base as you can see this line coming across. Brought it up you know about middle between where I entered here and where I entered there and boom. So I have two thirds of a position going right now on Goldman Sachs. But this right here, this pattern is what I teach in mentoring, and it's a specialized pattern that you're only going to learn here in uh, at Grok Trade. But it's a money making, money making strategy. But let's get back here to the SPX, and what we have here is an isometrical triangle. We had a nice bounce yesterday. With that, I went ahead and drew a second um, trend line coming up here higher swing low today we made a higher higher high and a higher low however we have what's called a bearish thrusting pattern so this is a bearish reversal pattern we're trying to go positive here on the centered oscillator this MACD we're right there at a crucial point but I don't like the looks of this I hedge myself going into the close today because I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow and no one knows and anytime you watch my videos I do give you what I think is statistically probable but anything can happen in the markets and I don't play what I think is going to happen I play what I see so right now I do see it made a higher high higher low but I do see we have a reversal pattern there is no follow through however we're in the depths here of earning season and with that gives us a more data that can serve as a catalyst to the upside and tomorrow we do have initial claims coming out pre-market and a whole flurry of news announcements with the earnings uh, and ah, be interesting to see how that plays itself out so I need a couple things from you one if you're on Facebook go to facebook.com grok trade or if you want to just connect with me personally, go to facebook.com forward slash des.woodruff and that'll connect with me. But if you like me bringing in other stocks and looking at stocks on top of looking at the broad market analysis, I'd like to know that. And here I am looking for right now two interns. A lot of interns that come through are usually college and this will help build up your resume in a big way. Or if you are out of college and you still want to intern with us, that means we will put you to work doing some things internally and you will get the benefits of some of our products and uh, yeah, and just being part of the team. So if that is you, send us an email at admin at grocktrade.com, admin at grocktrade.com. 